being done by automated robots, bots. Bots are ruling the e-commerce market, and let's be honest, after all this, we just don't like bot developers. Oh, oh shoot. So the thing is, I am a bot developer. Holiday season here and national chip shortages worldwide. Items like the PS5, Xbox, and MacBooks are so hard to get, even though they came out over a year ago. People spend hours in lines, online queues to get these hard to get items like sports card just to get beat by a bot the moment the item releases. I mean, these bots are eating up stock faster than Elon Musk eats up the stock market. Now, I made a video a little over a year ago that now has over 70,000 views where I talk about how to beat the bots and how to know this. Well, I am the creator of bots. Now, when I made that video, I had only created one major bot that was for Walmart and Target. Since then, I've created over 30 bots for various sites, including golf sites, Apple, Tesla, and more. And through my bot work, I've learned a lot. I've learned the ins and outs of bots, pros and cons, some benefits of using bots, the limitations of bots, and how a human can theoretically beat a bot when it comes to online checkouts. Trust me, it's possible. In this video, I'm going to share all my secrets and basically go against my bot creator career by telling you guys how to beat the bots in 2021-2022. Bots have come a long way since the last holiday season. And I feel like in order to really understand how to beat the bots, you have to understand how they work. So I'm going to give you guys a very easy to understand explanation of how these bots work so you can ultimately beat them. So there's two main types of bots that you're up against. The first one is a browser bot. A browser bot is exactly how it sounds like. It's a bot that uses a browser and basically all it does is it autofills the fields like the checkout field, the payment field, whenever it's doing an online checkout. So honestly, a browser bot is like a human but with a 300 word per minute typing speed. The best browser bots are usually faster than most Chrome extensions, but there are autofill extensions that you can use that will better your chances against these browser bots. The one that I personally use is SSS Autofill. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because they are not sponsoring this video. But you can use a autofill extension that you like and what this basically does is it automatically fills in the checkout field and payment field whenever you are checking out a product. Because if you find yourself having to manually fill out your first and last name or address on the shipping details page, you might have to like just go home because by then the browser bot would have already checked out. Like there's a reason Google Chrome now has autofill capabilities because it's way faster and it saves all the hassle of manually filling out information. And this is where a huge limitation of browser bots comes in. When a site has good bot detection algorithms, it usually checks how fast a person is filling out this information and whether any autofill extension or plugin is being used. And if it detects that no autofill extension is being used and this information is being filled out super fast because it's a browser bot, then they're gonna be like, hey, you're sus, we're gonna kick you out the entire checkout process. Because of this, browser bots that are built for sites like Walmart and Target have to slow down the speed at which they fill out information. And this slowdown in speed is something that you don't have to worry about if you have an autofill extension because you are using your real browser. So the bot detection algorithms will automatically say, hey, you're a real user, you're just filling out information fast because you're using autofill extension, you're not a bot, come through. But for the bots, they have to slow down and by the time they get the payment field, you're already done and you just beat a browser bot and you got your item, you're happy. Now, this only is for sites that have good security detection. Most sites that are in the cut, that are not Walmart, not Target, not Nike, don't have good security. So as a result, your, the browser bot will most likely beat the autofill extension unless they're using the best of the best autofill extensions, which are usually paid for. Um, then you might have a chance of beating the browser bot. Unless the bot is developed by me because I'm kind of nice at it. And now we move on to the second type of bot, request bots. A request bot utilizes HTTP requests to send and receive data to a server like Walmart or Target during the checkout process. The request bot does not use a browser. It is simply a program that you run in your terminal and it will check out an item at super speed. Request bots are nearly unbeatable simply because they are able to check out an item within three to five seconds. So by the time you click ATC, the item is already sold out. And the tragic part is no autofill extension can beat a request bot. It's not that guy. 16. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. So is it game over? Is that it? Do we lose request bots? Well, not exactly, and here's why. Popular sites like Walmart and Target that have above average security standards usually throw curveballs the time an item releases. And this curveball is, is sometimes enough to destroy every single request bot so that only real humans who are manually checking out can actually get the item. On one of the most recent PS5 restocks on Walmart, request bots were checking out the item, but they were not prepared for a new recapture V2 challenge that Walmart introduced in the checkout portion of the checkout process. And as a result, request bots were not programmed to handle this and they were all kicked out. 
and the real humans manual users were able to check out the item just by simply filling out the information using your autoflow extension and ultimately getting the ps5s i think only one request bot company was able to get like 10 ps5s the rest got smoked but there's another tactic that a lot of people do to check out the item and beat the request bot and that is to use a vendor's app. Most request bots operate on the desktop. So when you go on the desktop site of a major vendor like Walmart, the time a PS5 or Xbox uh, S, I think it is, drops, then usually you see that the site is very slow. Sometimes it even crashes. That's because a thousands of requests are being sent by those request bots like ATC, 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 ATC drugs. Steven, what are you doing in there? Uh drugs and because of this flood of requests the site isn't able to handle all this the server starts getting really slow and regular users when you click atc the loading symbol just keep loading 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 and you will never be able to get past that loading screen this is why using the mobile site slash app is way easier because these request bots aren't sending thousands of requests on the mobile app site because they're not built for the mobile app they're only built for the desktop so by using a mobile app, you are bettering your chances to getting the item that you want. And honestly, the overall process of checking out an item on mobile is way smoother than checking out an item on desktop. For all these mobile apps, be sure to have an account ready because if you have an account ready, it's even faster because your shipping and payment information is already, you know, processed. So all you literally have to do is add to your cart and click checkout and you're done. So now that you know ways to beat the request and browser bot, are there any other general tips that I can give you to boost your chances? well pray no nah, i'm just kidding well i mean you could pray but another main thing you really can do is click the cart icon anytime you finish clicking the atc button and you see the number pop up by the cart icon whether it be on mobile or desktop like forget about clicking the atc button again and again right the site won't make it go any faster but what the site isn't prepared for you to do is to automatically go to the cart page by clicking the cart icon usually it waits for the atc request to finish you know sending and then it sends you back the page that is the cart page but if you click the cart manually then you're automatically taken to the cart page you don't have to worry about the atc symbol loading and loading because if you wait for that the item will be out of stock like you're basically forcing the site to take you to the next step without them wanting you to because they're trying to load balance but we don't care about that we want the eye product that we are trying to get for our kids loved ones or ghosts and the last general tip please use multiple devices to check out use the desktop and the mobile use your friend's laptop use your mother's laptop use the computer that their college provides you use that laptop use every single device you possibly can if all this fails and it's not working for you then it's time for you to join the dark side and if you want to join the dark side and by that i mean get the item that you want by purchasing a bot then be sure to get a bot for whatever site you're trying to get a item on by a trusted bot developer who's amazing at what they do. Wink, wink, like the best in the business, wink, wink. I've made over 20 bots for various sites, over $100,000 in sales. So feel free to contact me, email in the description below. But that is how you beat the bots in 2022 and maximize your chances to get an item for your family member or a loved one and beat the bots. And of course, like I said, if you can't enjoy the dark side, contact me, it's all good. Comment down below what site you're trying to get an item for. And if you're a programmer, then check out my link in the description below for a free bot development course. Thank you all for watching. Peace.